What's up guys, it's Naughty Alex here, and uh, it's a sort of a mod review slash how to install mod, and uh, instead of telling you what the mod is first, I'm just going to show you what it is. It was featured on the Minecraft forums the other day, and it is this water shader mod, and let's turn that down. Um, the shader mod basically reflects whatever's there and it reflects it in the Minecraft screen. Now, it is going to be laggy because the recording, the recorder I'm using at the moment isn't meant for uh, game recording. This one's just when I'm doing tutorials on how to install stuff because it only works on the internet whereas Fraps doesn't. But, as you can see, it reflects everything. The sheep down there is reflected. The cow is reflected. The clouds, they move. As you can see, if I stay here, the clouds are moving across. It is. It just gives the water a better look, and it. Uh, it's just one of the best mods out there so far. It's nothing major. It's just something really simple that works. And using it with a text pack, it works as well. And it's just amazing. There are a few bugs in it. It is still in alpha mode, but um, we'll get on to installing the mod pack itself. So um, the first thing you want to do is press your Windows key and R. Oh, hang on, sorry, we'll do that one again. You're going to press your Windows key and R. This will bring up the dialog run box. In this, you want to type percenter app data percenter forward slash dot Minecraft forward slash, and this will take you straight to your Minecraft area. You then want to delete everything that's in your dot Minecraft folder because, once again, all mods need basically a fresh background until you know what they're compatible with. This is compatible with Zom's mod pack, you have to install Zom's mod, pa mod pack afterwards. And then if you want too many items as well, you install too many items after that. So, it's what happens now. Make sure you ta uh, if you want to keep the like maps you've got, make sure you keep them, like, your saves and stuff like that. But, other than that, just go ahead and delete this. Once you've done that, you can close that down. And you need to run your Minecraft. You need to log in again. Remember password. You also want to go options force update and done, otherwise this won't work properly. You sometimes get the error message saying not downloaded. If that happens, make sure you're doing the force update. If it happens whilst you're doing the force update, then it's all you have to do is just make sure keep trying it and eventually it will download it for you. This is gonna take a while, so I think I'll pause it and then come back once it's done. Right, that's finished now, so once your Minecraft loaded back up to the main screen, you can close it. You then want to download the water shader mod, which is on the Minecraft forums. I'll quickly show you now. At the moment, it is on the featured front page, but if it's not there, here it is. You can find the link here. But uh, otherwise, you need to go forum release mods, then you need to find it. The name of it is called Mod uh, Water Shader Alpha Version 3 Showcase. So that's what the name will come under. You've got a download link there. I should really show you, but it, the download link's just under the pictures. You then get the uh, file. You then need to open this, drag it to the side. If you've got Windows 7, it'll bounce up. It takes up half the screen. You then need to, I didn't mean to close it, you need to have your .minecraft still open, which, same thing again, Windows key and R. You then need to go into the bin and minecraft.jar need to open it with WinRAR or similar so you can use 7-zip or something like that and you'll see a folder called meta-inf it's not there if it's not there sorry don't worry about it you don't have to delete it just continue to the next step of the video however if you have got it you need to delete no oh, not enter on it wrong button you need to delete ah oh, come on delete and yes that basically allows the minecraft to be modded that's just there to stop people from modding it but oh well you then need to go into version 3b and then once go to the minecraft and you've got five class files you need to select them all and drop them into the minecraft dot jar you then hit ok you're now done with the minecraft dot jar so you can get rid of that and then you need to go back to your minecraft and then you need to go to the bin area if you go out of where the class files were in the water shader download you then need to go into drag the shader folder on its own and just drop it into the bin area where you've got your minecraft.jar you're then done with everything so you can close it all down uh, and you just need to load minecraft back up 
log in hopefully I should spawn near some water if not this could be quite embarrassing um, you will experience quite a bit of lag in the video because it's generating a whole new world and that is your uh, mods installed for you uh, I have made myself a Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter the link will be in the description um, if you subscribe and all that and like the video if it helped and stuff like that subscribe uh, I will be doing mod reviews and mod installation videos for upcoming mods mostly but ones that I think are amazing like this I will also do uh, thanks for watching see you guys later